Well, March is colorectal cancer awareness month, and it's the second deadliest cancer in the country. It affects both men and women. A lot of times we associate with this with just men, but women are also at a huge risk to get it. Dr. Stephen Moff, chief of gastroenterology at Kaiser Permanente Santa Clara is joining us now this morning with a lot of important information on this. And Dr. Moff, thank you so much for joining us. I was just reading up on this and I was shocked to learn that the American Cancer Society is actually showing that incidence of colon cancer in people under 50 have increased 9% since just 2020. So Kaiser has now made some changes in how young you're testing and also added a new fit test. So tell us about that. That's right. Thank, thank you so much, Amanda, for having me here today to talk about colon cancer screening. It's it's colon cancer uh, awareness month, so it's the uh, right time to be talking about it, but it's, it's always time to be talking about it. Uh, we are seeing an increasing incidence of colon cancer in folks under 50. Uh, in fact, uh, particularly starting at age 45. And so we've lowered our screening age from 50 to 45 to make sure that we catch these uh, cancers and, and early cancers before they become a bigger problem. And so, yes, we do have a, a FIT test, uh, uh, which is a stool test non-invasive. It doesn't involve a prep. It doesn't involve uh, any kind of a invasive procedure. And all it does, you just check your stool to look for any blood. And that gives us an idea of what might be going on. And then if the test is positive, we proceed with colonoscopy. So doing that at a younger age, catching it even earlier is so important. And catching it is so important, as you just said, and getting those screenings, even though you wait till 45. So we're seeing a lot of young adults getting colon cancer. So what are some of those symptoms we should be looking out for? And when is it the time to talk to your doctor, even if you haven't reached that age limit yet? If there are any screenings, uh, I mean, any symptoms at all that might be bothering you, whether that's uh, if you notice any blood in your stool, if you're having any weird abdominal pain, anything that's out of your ordinary is important to share with the doctor. The key is with colon cancer, there are often no symptoms. Uh, and that's why we have to do these screening tests preemptively to find something before it can become a problem. So the stool testing is simple, it's easy, you do it at home. Uh, it allows you to be screened so that if there is any kind of an issue, then uh, you can have the appropriate testing and get things done uh, and taken care of before they become a problem. Absolutely. If you notice anything weird, just definitely talk to your doctor as soon as possible. So what are some of the causes of colon cancer? Where does it stem from? Yeah, no, that's great. Um, many times there's nothing that can be determined. It can be what we call sporadic, meaning it just sort of happens out of the blue. However, the things that we do need to know about as physicians is in particular is if you have a family history. Anybody with a family history of colon cancer, in particular in a, a parent, a sibling or a child uh, at a young age, that's something that we need to know about. Anybody in your family of any age who has uh, had colon cancer, that would be something to tell your doctor about earlier because that might indicate that you might even need a screening sooner uh, than even 45. Yeah, it's something we don't really like to think about, but we definitely need to for the sake of our health and for our family's sake too. Dr. Stephen Moff from Kaiser, thank you so much for your time this morning, giving us a lot to think about and uh, look at in our own lives. We appreciate it. Amanda, thank you so much. Really appreciate it.